Welcome, parents and guardians. The goal of this presentation will be to familiarize you with what will be required of you to ensure your dependent has the tools needed to begin their semester successfully. So let us begin with what we will be discussing during this course. To open, we will discuss the Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, better known as FERPA. Next, we will go over financial aid, followed by the documents that will be requested of you and your dependent to secure financial aid awards, as well as any issues that may arise when completing the various aid applications. Finally, we will wrap up by discussing the questions you may have regarding the overall financial aid process. The Family Educational Rights and Privacy Act, or better known as FERPA, gives parents or guardians certain rights with respect to their dependents' educational records. These rights transfer to the student when he or she reaches the age of 18 or attends a school beyond the high school level. Students to whom the rights have transferred are eligible students. Parents, guardians, or eligible students have the right to inspect and review the student's educational records maintained by the school. Schools are not required to provide copies of records unless, for reasons such as great distance, it is impossible for parents, guardians, or eligible students to review the records. Schools may charge a fee for these copies. For a parent or guardian to have access to their dependents' college records, the student must first complete the FERPA release form with the Office of the Registrar, which can be found in the description box below. Once that document is processed, the parent guardian will be able to access information and reach out to the institution if they have any questions regarding their dependents' academic or financial records. Under FERPA, students have the right to review their educational records and must consent in writing before certain personal identifiable information is disclosed to third parties such as parents, guardians, and other educational institutions. Personally identifiable information can be considered but is not limited to the items listed on this slide such as the student's name, address, and social security number. With a FERPA form in place, parents' guardians can have access to their dependents' financial records and are able to assist them in making any necessary updates to financial forms or view which documents are being requested by financial institutions. To sum up everything, FERPA guidelines give students the right to keep their personal and academic information that is housed within the college records confidentially. For a parent, guardian, or third party to access any of the items listed in the previous slide, consent must first be provided by the student, your dependent, via the completion of a FERPA release form. Now, what is financial aid? Financial aid helps students and their families pay for college. This financial assistance helps cover educational expenses which include tuition and fees, room and board, books and supplies, transportation. There are two forms of aid that your dependent may be eligible for. They are the Pell Grant, which is awarded by the federal government, and the TAP Grant, which is awarded by New York State. Pell Grants are federal grants awarded to undergraduate students who have not earned a bachelor's or graduate degree. The maximum credit federal Pell Grant awarded is $6,895 for the academic year. The Tuition Assistance Program, TAP, 
is a grant that helps eligible New York residents pay tuition at the approved schools in New York State. As both awards are grants, they do not have to be repaid. One of the main forms of financial aid awarded to students is grants. The federal and state government provides grants for students attending college or career schools. Most types of grants, unlike loans, are sources of financial aid that generally do not have to be repaid. Another example of a federal grant that is available to your dependent is the Federal Supplemental Educational Opportunity Grant, or better known as FSEOG, which can be awarded to students who demonstrate exceptional need. A couple of part-time grants that are available from the state are part-time TAP, or better known as PTAP, and Award for Part-Time Study, better known as APPS. While both awards can be given to students that are enrolled part-time, the main difference between the two is that PTAP awards are guaranteed based on TAP application eligibility while APPS awards are based on state funding and are not guaranteed. Another form of aid available to students is scholarships. Scholarships are gifts. They do not need to be repaid. There are thousands of them offered by schools, employers, individuals, private companies, nonprofits, communities, religious groups, and professional and social organizations. Your dependent would be able to complete the general scholarship application for scholarships offered at Lehman by clicking on the link in the description below. Loans are funds that must be paid back within a specified period after the student graduates or leaves college for any reasons. Loans provide students and their families with flexibility because the money may be used for tuition and other expenses associated with college attendance. In addition, student loans usually carry lower interest charges than the standard commercial rates. Just like any other loan, student loans must be repaid with interest. On the current slide are examples of the types of loans that are offered by the college. In these past months, the Office of the Registrar has participated in outreach initiatives to inform students of errors on their TAP applications, such as missing parent guardian social security numbers, or their signature, or their income information. These missing items may cause errors which will delay the processing of your dependent's financial aid. It is important for you to provide the requested documents to allow the application to be processed in a timely fashion. The federal financial aid process is a time-sensitive application, and on this slide we have outlined ways in which you can avoid delays in your dependents' FAFSA application process. The most important thing to do in this process is to submit the application and all required documents by the deadlines provided. The FAFSA application is available October 1st for the following academic year, which allows parents, guardians, and students ample time to go through the process of completing the application. The earlier you and your dependent complete the application, the more time you will have to make any updates as they may be required. The final slide of this module contains some questions you may have regarding this process, as well as what may be requested of you in order to complete the processing of the financial aid application. Please note, information that is requested on the financial aid application does not include anything regarding immigration status. Thank you for taking part in the Parent Guardian module.
We hope that this module was informative and helped to ease any concerns attached to the college and financial aid process.